Okay, so I'm sanding the entire guitar a little. Just not taking an awful lot of material, just want to level it a little because I've already leveled it. Just want to get out the swirl marks. And this piece of uh, eraser comes in handy, as you can see, right up against the uh, fretboard. Careful not to go through the, uh, the color and the finish. That can be a disaster. I have to start all over again. Then I take a paper towel and just uh, wipe off the water. And then I inspect the finish and see, make sure it's uh, level and ready for the final uh, French polish. The, the, the important thing is that in any finishing, whether it's lacquer or French polish, is that to get the base coat um, like a mirror, just perfectly smooth with no ripples, no anything. Um, that's, how, that's what I like. I know some people don't care. So, sometimes a French polish should be, um, you know, kind of rough looking. And it, it does end up that way over time because it shrinks. And, um, you know, a lot of people, I like that look, a lot of people like it. And, uh, but I also like the really polished look as well. So I think we're ready for uh, the first coat of uh, French polish. Okay, ready to French polish with the oil. So um, all guitar makers have a, a secret and uh, it's always good for marketing, you know. But uh, I'll, I'll tell you my French polishing secret. Um, I've talked to a lot of guitar makers and I've never heard them mention this, and, and, and this is what I do. I take a, an eraser, it can be any kind of eraser, and I take a piece of cheesecloth, and I put that on there, and I just fold it over. The cheesecloth is um, folded twice. You know, fold it, and so it's kind of a, a thick, thick cheesecloth uh, here. And I, I wrap this around the eraser and I twist it. You can get a rubber band if you want, but I, I generally don't. I just, uh, as you can see, like this. Okay. So now as you can see, we have, uh, this is full of uh, French polish, shellac. So, I then, have some paraffin oil in this one, and I put a few drops of paraffin oil. I then take my fad, they call it, and put a few drops of shellac uh, on there. Not too much, just a little. Then smear around the oil a little bit there. Kind of get it all over the top. And then I begin to apply it. The oil acts as a lubricant and allows me to go over same spot many times without the French, the uh, shellac sticking. And I apply a couple more drops of oil up here. Bit more on my fad.
And as you can see, it's really a useful thing to have this eraser so that it can just get right up against the fingerboard here. Uh, a normal fad with no uh, hard backing will not do that. And um, it's a lot more work. And I, I use this for all the edges. Um, it's really useful. And I, I, like I said, I've talked to many guitar makers. And this is uh, nothing I've ever heard of before, but it, it really works. And if you want to apply even more finish, you can uh, put four, four uh, um, you know, different uh, layers of cheesecloth so that it really soaks up the polish and it releases it as you go. So, um, you know, this is really a great way to do it. And um, I'm surprised, like I said, it just goes on so smooth and easy. Way better than uh, just a soft fad. <laughs>